Hello students and parents and in this video lesson I will be going over the uh, assignment from earlier today for reading. So let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, let's go ahead and write our date. Move that out of the way. We did this on the 16th of November, so if you do it on a different day, then please write the date in which you did it. I'm gonna refocus this a little bit. Okay, then after you write the date, go ahead and make a circle in the center of your page, like that. And you're gonna write our main character's name, which is Mira. And then draw a picture of Mira inside. Use that. Um, she's got kind of like pigtail things and then little bows and then a little top pants oops sorry excuse me and shoes and she's got a little paintbrush. Okay, so there's Mira. And then um, we're going to draw each shape that goes uh, with each of the different things as we analyze her as a character. So we're going to draw our heart for how she feels and connect that to our circle. We're going to draw a Let's see here. We're going to draw a ear. For what she is hearing. We're going to do a hand. For what she's doing. A thought bubble. For what she's thinking and some eyes for what she sees in the story. Okay. Now for each part we wrote different things um, of course to go with each um, part of her as a character. So for Mira in the story, we were thinking about, okay, how did she feel in the story? In the beginning of the story, her city was very gray, very blah, I would say, um, and just there wasn't much to it. So we said in class that she felt sad. She felt a little sad in the beginning of the story because her city, there it was just, people weren't very happy and it was just a very, kind of almost depressing and sad. Uh, city. Then over time this the city became happier with the colors that her and that muralist man were doing together and, the, and then everyone starts getting involved and everyone starts painting the walls. So happy is also another feeling that she had near the middle to end of the story. Um, then we went on to listening, what she heard, and she was hearing, let's see here, we put, oh, definitely in the middle of the book uh, when everyone was dancing around and um, getting a feel for painting, starting to paint. Everyone was getting involved in painting. There was music and they said different types of music that they were listening or he they could hear or while they were painting. And one of them that we wrote also was bebop, which is a very fun type of music to listen to. So sad and happy for how she was feeling, music and bebop was what she was listening to as she was painting. Then we went on to what she could do and or what she was doing and the first thing of course is she was painting and then one student said from the beginning of the story she was also drawing okay 
Now, I also would like it if you could please add another um, point to each of these as well. So what else was she doing in the story? What else was she hearing? What else was she feeling? Um, also, same thing for these as well. And then for thoughts, what was she thinking uh, in the beginning of the story when she started to pass out her drawings? Um, she was thinking about, okay, how can I help these people? And then go ahead and write another bullet for why or what other things she might be thinking in the story. And then for seeing, she saw a lot of art. Definitely a lot of art. And then also add another um, thing that she saw throughout the story as well. Uh, okay, so make sure that you draw Mira inside your main circle and then draw each of the shapes around her. So feeling a heart, an ear for listening or what she was hearing, um, a hand for what she was doing, a thought bubble for what she was thinking, and eyes for what she was seeing. Okay, and then make sure to write an extra dot. You also don't have to write the same ones I have. You could write different ones if you have different um, ideas on what she was feeling, hearing, doing, thinking, and seeing. So if you want to uh, write different things, you can as well. And make sure that Mira is colored. Okay, so it, in the end, it should look something like this. Okay. Uh, that is going to conclude our video lesson for reading. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Goodbye.